Hello, guys. Hey, we've been gone a really long time. This is like one of the longest ever. So sorry. I can't even actually remember the last time we made a video. No, I can't either. We thought that we should get in touch and tell you guys what sort of what we've been up to and what we plan on doing. Yeah, so what we've been up to. Uh, unfortunately, after you graduate college, there's this <laughs> horrible thing called the job. And both of us had to get those, so mm -hmm. we've been doing various things to earn money. Yeah, we've sort of been, yeah, kind of pimping ourselves out. In all <laughs> to, sorts anyone, of... to anyone who will, who will give us money. A well, lot of nannying. I've realized that as a young female, you're sort of, um, like, socially cast into the role of, like, mm -hmm. child caretaker apparently young girls are just like that's what you're supposed to do so apparently that's so. what you get paid to do if you can't do anything professional yet so that's what's been happening hooray um, but we want to make videos again so this is for real mm -hmm. we're back i don't know what the schedule will be like we're still working it out no it would be awesome if we could though like regain a regular schedule where we're yeah. making videos like at least one particular day a week I think. I don't know. What do you I guys think? I think it's possible. Yeah. I think, you know, it's up to you guys, but I think we can do it. Probably anybody who's watching this video knows all of our videos, I think, ever since whenever we joined YouTube, I think in like 2010. 2000. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. And or 2011. It was like 2010 slash maybe beginning of 2011. Yeah. Um, all of our videos predominantly have been about Degrassi and... Um, we still totally love the show, totally love the people involved. Absolutely. Um, but we kind of want to make videos about new things, and we're totally open to opinions, and we want to hear what you guys would like to hear us talk about, if it's more TV shows, movies, topics, like anything at all that you guys are interested in hearing us we like, talk about. We like to talk, so mm -hmm. we'll give the people what they want. Mm -hmm. If you followed our tweets, you probably already see... Quite a few shows that we love to watch. I'm a Honey Boo Boo fan, Dance Moms, all that stuff. Anything that you love, we probably love too, so we want to hear about it. And maybe we can start talking about TV shows. And Alex and I are always at the movies, so always we could do the movie movies. like we could do a lot of movie reviews. So mm -hmm. we eat a lot of food. Exactly. Ice cream. I, yeah, we could tell you the places to go. I could teach you how to do a burpee. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, we're actually a lot more marketable, I think, than we've let on. So We got stuff. We got ideas. Yeah, and if there's anything that you current viewers want to hear us talk about, other interests, likes, ideas, we're totally down for that. Um, we're just not really sure what you guys might be interested in hearing, but we totally have more to give. I could tell you about going to college. That is to, yeah, we could, yeah, because we, we did that. that. We, we went did there. We, we went there. We did. We've got a plethora of knowledge and fun facts and information for y'all, depending on what you want to see. So we're open to suggestions. We're going to kind of revamp our channel a little bit, figure things out, be a little bit more open to everything. Oh, that's another thing we kind of wanted to talk about. Should we change our name? Should we... Do any of the, we we're kind of scared to sort of venture off into unknown horizons, and we're not sure if it's a smart idea to right. change our entire face. And we don't want to lose you guys in the process. No. So like we want to make sure you know where we are, where we're going to be, and what we're going to be doing. So mm -hmm. what are your feelings? New name, old name. If you, if it is a new name, do you have a suggestion for us? What should we be called? Should we make a new channel entirely? Right. And just sort of try and connect our old things with our new things. Yeah. Will you guys come with us if we go elsewhere? That's true. Are you in it for the long haul um, here? Yeah. And then we also have, do we change our Twitter handle? We have all these other social media um, handles that we just are so specific to what we've logged about for like three years. And now we just want to change a little bit and we don't exactly know the most correct way to do that yet. Epitome's got a new show coming out right there. Boom, that's that's something else for us. That's a whole other topic right there. It really is. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. 
except I hate Abby and Wilbur. You know, I was really thinking about it this week when I tweeted Dance Mom Jill, happy birthday. And what I really wanted to tell her was, if you really want to do right by your daughter, you and all the other moms will take your kids out of that school immediately because there is no show without those children. No, we wouldn't watch for Abby. No. I'm not watching for a woman in a large black uniform that goes... If they all just left her high and dry, it's not like... It's like, oh, she's always threatening to replace them, but, like, they are the show. That's what people watch for. So, like, what is Lifetime and... What are Lifetime and Abby gonna do? Like, nothing. They... No, they're lost without the girls. I mean... They need the girls. Yep. There's already, you know, a lot of animosity because of the whole Brooke and Paige thing. And now, you know, Chloe is totally being, you know, pushed to the side. It's awful. The way she treats those kids is actually terrible and I know so much of it I hope is just over um dramatic for television but then you hear about other stuff Mm -hmm. like how Chloe won that competition and Abby on the show acted all nice and sweet and then we literally saw a video of somebody who was a judge at that competition who said Abby went into the room and was causing a big commotion about how Chloe shouldn't have won the drama's great we love all the girls Love all the moms for the most part, but, you know, it's just, it's getting a little hard to watch. I think Kendall is going to have a heart attack before the age of 18. I know. Because she's such a nervous wreck, and I feel awful. Me too. Like, no child. And I don't care how much money you're making, I don't care how famous you're getting, no child should have to go through that. No, it's not worth it. If you're supposed to be promoting these girls and, you know, hopefully helping them on their way to stardom, you're not doing a very good job. She's not coming off likable at all. And that's on Lifetime. I don't think that's on anybody but them. On Abby, on Lifetime, on on the people creating the show. You know? And then I often think, <clears throat> is this show, like, pigeonholing these young kids, like, when they're older and they want to go audition for, for professional things as, like, actual mature dancers, is it just going to be like, oh, well, they're from, like, Dance Moms, so just right. brush them to the side. But you're right. I mean, and that's that's what, like, child stars in general face a lot of the time is that people can only remember them for what they did when they were a kid. So who knows? Chloe wants to be a Rockette. Are they going to hold that against her when she's of age to try out? Macaulay Culkin's such a jerk, too. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Pizza. Pizza He's band. Pizza a, jerk. Like, I jerk. think there something happens to people who, like, knew Michael Jackson as an adolescent or something. Macaulay Culkin is like, it's like, I don't, I don't know, he's like a scarier Steve Buscemi. Like, he's like Steve Buscemi, like but- son. Yeah, like the son of Steve Buscemi, but if Steve Buscemi wasn't, like, awesome. So, like, just scary- Son of Steve like, Buscemi. The character Steve Buscemi plays in that Adam Sandler movie. <laughs> yeah. He paints on the lipstick. Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> that's the Macaulay new Macaulay Culkin. And then there's Neil Patrick Harris who came out of all of that and he was like, Hello, I'm awesome. Mm-hmm. So you could be him. Or you could be son of Steve Buscemi. Does anybody watch So You Think You Can Dance? I... Have been trying to get Taylor to watch So You Think You Can I Dance. Know, I know. And what night is it on? There's a reason I'm um, not watching it. Isn't I think there? it's Wednesday nights. See, I I like Bring It, and I think I like Bring It more than. I like but so I don't even I don't even watch it live. I usually everything I watch pretty much I always won't catch it on DVR because I I like to be able to like fast forward and rewind and stuff. Um, and, like, for some reason, watching live television now makes me really nervous for some reason. I don't know. It's weird. But anyway, it's, like, the one show that you can watch on TV, like, a reality TV show where people are, like, competing to be talented and, like, they're actually talented. Like all the singing shows where people are just, like, right. eh, And they're, like, oh, my God, that note, it blew me away. And it's right. Like, no. Because now, like, singing is even something that these industries have turned into something where people can't even really decide whether or not it's good or bad but dance is like something that it's you have to wa- yeah. watch and be able to tell is this good or right. bad so i don't know i just feel like everybody should watch that show it's so good honey boo boo just went you know the season ended so i guess i'm ready to move on to a different show but i'm definitely excited for um the new shonda rhymes i get away with murder that i'm totally excited it's for. got orange is the new black people in it it's got dean thomas in it oh dean thomas and bad judge 
The new Kate Walsh show. Totally exactly. excited for that. Exactly, because Kate Walsh is the most perfect human being that ever lived, and I'm not really looking to hear your opinion on that, because it's just fact. It's a fact. It's just, that's the way it is. It's on the internet, so it's true. Exactly. I think we just gave you, like, a smattering of things we could we could potentially yeah. be making videos a, uh, about. Exactly. So, there, there, there's a little taste for you. Mm -hmm. And just sort of tell us in the comments, tell us on Twitter, or whatever social media handle, what have you, that you decide to communicate with, and let us know what you would like to see. You know what we wouldn't like to see? Claire being pregnant. That's all I'm going to say about that.